Oh, hey there, beautiful. I was talking to the tea, but sure, you look good too. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lee. Look, there's better lighting. I finally fixed my lights. This video was supposed to go up last Wednesday because the film started at seven. So like, there's no chance that I could like publish it on time because I hate scheduling videos because I'm always scared that they don't go up. Deal with the extra Wednesday video this week. It's fine. So today I'm back with another bookish thing because that's what I'm doing on Wednesdays now. Two Wednesdays every month. I've not been reading. So rather than a book review, I'm doing a book tag. I don't know where this tag originally came from, but I found it on a blog that I really love and it's about a year old. So if anybody knows who to credit, let me know in the comments and I will put it in the description or something. Anyway, this is the ultimate book tag. There are 25 bookish questions and let's just, let's just get straight into it. Do you get sick while reading in the car? Unless my stepdad is driving, I never get sick in any car. Actually, I love reading on transport because I get most of my reading done going backwards and forwards from college. Which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? Lemony Snicket. The way he writes a series of unfortunate events is just so different from anything else and I am obsessed, and yes, I did binge watch the TV show on the day it went out on Netflix. Can't wait for the next lot. It needs to come soon, like I need another fix. Harry Potter series or Twilight Saga? Give three points to defend your answer. Really? Really? Cedric Diggory, right? Hermione, Hermione Granger, yeah? actual interesting plot. Do you carry a book bag? If so, what is in it besides books? I don't. I just always have a book in whatever bag I take with me. Do you smell your books? Yes. Uh, they just, they smell nice, okay? Books with or without illustration? To be honest, I prefer books without them, but I do like them in the A Series of Unfortunate Events series, but just generally I prefer it when there's chapter title pages that are decorative because I just feel like it breaks up the writing and it gives you an excuse to just like have a bit of a break from reading if you just need like a breather or you just chill because something bad has just happened in the previous chapter. It just gives you like a little bit of a a break. An example of where this is done perfectly is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Look, this is what I mean. This is what I like. I know it's not like an illustration, but it's just something that breaks it up. What book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? The Twilight Saga. I actually really enjoyed it, but then as I've started to read like different genres, a lot of, a, a lot of vampire books, it just, it hasn't stayed as my favourite series and I'm kind of sad about that because I did enjoy reading them. The films suck though. There are better things out there. Do you have any funny stories involving books from your childhood? Not really a funny story, it's kind of depressing and heartbreaking and... Uh, but while we're on the subject of a series of unfortunate events, I read books 1 to 11. My library had book 13, but not book 12. Six years later, I've bought all bar number three and I'm ready to binge read them this summer. I finally found book 12. I'm gonna finally finish the series. Cause I don't know what happens at the end. I know it's called the end, but I don't know what happens cause I've not read it because I didn't have book 12 at the time. What is the tiniest book on your shelf? This one, which is a Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus book that my grandparents got me. I think it's the only thoughtful gift they have ever given me. So, yeah. And it has my name in it. The character of Barbie is has been replaced with, with me. It's cute. It's really cute. Although it did have an unfortunate event. I keep talking about a series of unfortunate events. Ah! There was an unfortunate event involving some sticky sweets. I rescued the cover. Don't let your five-year-old sister anywhere near your prized possessions. What is the thickest book on your shelf? The Complete Illustrated Works of Lewis Carroll. This is a 1982 edition, I believe, and it's like a thousand pages long. Do you write as well as read? Do you see yourself in the future as being an author? I do write. I'm halfway through writing a short book of about 150-ish pages. Plot twist is happening and I need to write more. I don't see myself as like an author of like fiction books or even like sticking to a YA fiction like the one I'm currently writing now. I actually really sadly want to be a published author of a law textbook, which I know sounds crazy to a lot of people, but 
And there's this book. I'll get it, hang on. Letters to a Law Student by Nicholas J. McBride. This book has been so helpful to me. It is basically a how-to guide of do you do GCSE law? Do you do A-level law? Applying to universities, what, what universities look for, like interview and tests and how to pass all of those. And then it takes you through your years in university, then what to do afterwards if you're going on for your master's in law or if you're going into like, your pupillage or if you're going down the solicitor route, like how to do all of that. So I'm like a, just under halfway through because obviously I'm not in university yet. I love the idea of writing one myself because me and the previous owner of this book have wrote a bunch of notes in pencil and like the the date when we both had it and there's just there's loads of things that have been like underlined and and changed and like little notes like oh by the way apply to this place if you want to do like smaller classes or apply to this place if you're not really too bothered about the whole like one-to-one -one thing with teachers so like this this is just like heaven to me and the goal in life is to write one of my own when did you get into reading? As a toddler, I own about 150-ish of those Rainbow Magic Fairy books and me and my mum used to like read them every day. I've just, I've always been into reading, but like reading by myself, I think I got like properly into it the summer of my sixth birthday. What is your favourite classic book? Wuthering Heights, it is the most amazing book I've ever read. One day I hope to own the Penguin Classics because they re-released all of the classics in like these amazing covers. Currently I only own Persuasion by Jane Austen but they're like £14.99 each so I haven't got round to, to buying Wuthering Heights yet because I have no money. This is what Persuasion looks like. Wuthering Heights is like blue. And in school what was your best subject? Maths. I sucked at English and yet somehow still managed to get A's. I got an A star on like all of my coursework in English language and I don't know how. <laughs> Maths was definitely the one I was best at and my favourite. If you were given a book as a present that you had read before and hated, what would you do? Same thing I do when people give me double copies of books I've already read. Once I've read a book, they sit on my shelf for like three or four years. If I haven't reread them or if they're not a favourite of mine, then I give them to charity. So I think I'd just throw the book in the charity pile. Somebody else can read them and they can have a better life. What is a lesser known series that you know of that is similar to Harry Potter or The Hunger Games? I don't know about Harry Potter similarities, but there are a lot of books on my shelf that have like reviews on them that are like, this is a combination of The Hunger Games and blah 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 blah. I think there are a lot of books out there that have similar themes. I don't think there are any. What is a bad habit you always do while blogging? I forget to. That's, that's literally it. What is your favourite word? Indulge. Just feel like it's a little bit more glamorous. Do you know what I mean? Like when people tell you to like indulge in chocolate, you're just like, oh, expensive, glamour. Yeah, good chocolate. Are you a nerd, dork or dweeb or all of the above? I'm a self-confessed geek, but when it comes to books, I'm a book nerd because of Lindsay Cummings. Vampires or fairies, why? I've always had a fairy obsession. Vampires is like a new development in the past four or five years. Even though I have three shelves worth of vampire books. I'm gonna have to go with fairies because fairies are my childhood. They are the thing that I've been obsessed with for life. Partially with my own input, but my friend kind of convinced me that my ornamental fairies could fly. So we threw them downstairs and this one has lost a hand, her foot, her other foot, a bit of her wing, oh, a big chunk of this wing. Not many survived. I've still got a few, but a lot of them just ended up in the bin. Shapeshifters or angels, why? Well, as a hunter, I'm gonna have to side with the angels because the shapeshifter got Dean in trouble. Although technically that's a skinwalker, but you know. Or should I pick shapeshifter slash skinwalker for the pure hilarity of Sam and Dean trying to raise that baby? Now nah, we'll go with angels because I'm obsessed with Balthazar and, and Castiel. And Gabriel, bring him back. He is not dead, he can't be dead. Spirits or werewolves? Why? Werewolves. Because they're fluffy. What? Zombies or vampires? Why? In TV and movies, zombies because comedic value of Zombieland and I was a zombie in a TV show. Vampires in books. Love triangle or forbidden love? Ooh, every book has love triangles though and I just, I, I like that. But I also kind of really enjoy the whole forbidden love thing. The throne of glass uh, with the prince. Ooh, ha, mm, that, that. Forbidden love. I feel like there's too many love triangles. I kind of enjoy it a bit more because it's like a bit more scandalous, isn't it? 
<laughs> love a good scandal. And finally, full on romance books or action packed with a few love scenes mixed in. If you know me at all, then you know that I only read soppy romance books in the summer. So based on my reading habits, I'd have to say action packed because that's just, yeah. Badass assassins, a little bit of gore and a few love scenes. But see, here's the thing, because when I'm watching a film, I'd rather watch a romance film because I watch at least one rom-com every day because I'm that single and that sad about it. But we're talking about books, so action. Yeah. But yes, that is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a little bit more about my reading habits and stuff. I don't really know what you would have learned from that. Basically, I obsess over a series of unfortunate events, kind of hate Twilight, but still love vampires and also murder fairies. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing to put on the internet. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. As always, me links down in the description. So make sure you go follow me, subscribe, and watch out, and see you next time with a brand new video. Ciao. Mwah.